Right now in Washington, the founder of the Oath Keepers getting grilled by federal prosecutors over his attempts to get former President Trump to invoke the Insurrection Act. We're talking about Stuart Rhodes now on the stand for the first time facing cross-examination in that really high-profile, seditious conspiracy trial. It is, I think, the biggest trial of, at least as far as its profile, its spotlight, of any related to January 6th so far. That is in part because of that very serious, seditious conspiracy charge. Ryan Riley, our justice reporter, is at the courthouse with more. Um, th it, this is a key moment in this trial, right? It's already a key trial, and this is a key moment here. We've seen Rhodes testify already. Now he is under cross-examination. How? Um, talk to us about how intense it's getting. Yeah, you know, I think it's sort of a death by a thousand cut strategy that the government's going about here. They're sort of just taking apart uh, roads piece by piece, starting with, the, you know, the very beginning of the Found Keepers, how it all, uh, the v very beginning of the founding of the Oath Keepers, how it sort of all came about. You know, when he was on the stand, when he was being examined by his own lawyer, he was suggesting that this was about the Bush administration and that there was too much overreach and that's why they founded it. So first up, the government sort of crossed him with, well, when was the Oath Keepers founded? And that was founded, of course, when Barack Obama was in office and it was largely in response to uh, the first black president taking office is really what the Oath Keepers uh, was really uh, tied to initially. Um, so they've really just been pulling him apart sort of piece by piece, I think, on the stand. But it is really amazing to see just how confident uh, Rhodes is in a lot of these scenarios and just sort of how casually he'll refer to, say, you know, having the president of the United States throw out the election results and hold a brand new election, which is one of the things that he wanted uh, Donald Trump to be able to do. He'll just casually say, oh, of course, you know, this, uh, this is what I, I wanted him to do. He'll also just, you know, say the Supreme Court decision, for example, that uh, set aside uh, the uh, all the you know all the effort legal efforts that Donald Trump's uh, that Donald Trump made to try to overturn the 2020 election was unconstitutional in, in his view, and that's just sort of what he'll if he says it's unconstitutional, he just ex expects people to accept that is what Stuart Rhodes uh, sort of has taken this approach to. He's basically right now trying to separate himself from the actions that uh, the Oath Keepers took on January 6 uh, from what he says they did, and he kept referring to them going off mission that this wasn't part of the mission. But what prosecutors have sort of come back on is just referring back to his rhetoric, to his own messages that show that there was this effort to uh, to stop the peaceful transfer of power, even if there wasn't an explicit mission laid out before January 6th to actually storm uh, the Capitol building uh, and actually physically stop uh, the election from being certified. Haley.